Hi and welcome to CGX Deck where we talk all things Steam Deck related. We're going to be kicking off and going through the top 10 sellers on Steam this week. All games which are out now we do know run and run well on deck so it's a nice safe week this week so let's kick off number one is the steam deck itself it is continuing to sell it's had a bit of a show off over in tokyo as well at the tokyo game show if you want to see what the steam deck dock looks like check out our video here we've got we've got a load of uh, pictures on there illustrating what the official steam deck dock looks like so check that out in at number two is Cyberpunk. Again, this it's a bit of a surprise, but also not a surprise because it had two things going for it this week. First of all, there's the the big update for for it called Edge Runners, and it's also on sale to coincide with that because we know the the game series made for Netflix is out, and people have got really wanting to try Cyberpunk again. In at number three and at number four is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. There was a big reveal this week of Modern Warfare and it's back on Steam. It's in a theme for it because there's two different editions. There's the standard edition and there's the fault edition. So it's actually taking them two spots. It's going to be fun to see how this all shakes out and how it actually plays on deck when it comes out in October. Next up is NBA 2K23. It was in last week and it stayed in the same position as at number five. Good to see it running. It's running well on deck. People are enjoying it and hitting it at the same time as you get with these annual sports franchises. But there we go, it's still there. Next up, we're going to have a stack of PlayStation games coming after this as well. It is God of War. There is a PlayStation sale going on at this moment in time over on Steam, and you can pick up a ton of PlayStation games for half price and maybe a, a bit more. God of War, if you have not played it, you need to play it. It is a must play game. It's one of them few you have to go out and actually experience it and it runs really well on deck. My <laughs> advice we will say is maybe get to the 40 FPS mark and you will enjoy that a lot. Next up is a new entry as well which is Metal Hellsinger. It is an FPS where, with lots of music into it so you play along to the music. I know a lot of people have been really enjoying that and it's actually caught a lot of people off guard and how good and how much fun it is. Next up, and the last three games are all uh, PlayStation games, is Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition. Again, I'm, we all talk about how good PlayStation games are and this is another example of the next level of gameplay and games that they actually do. Go check that out. It runs on, runs well on deck, and it is a ton of fun. And you will have a load of play time in that because there's so much you can actually see and do in that. Next up is a bit of a mixed bag for PlayStation in Days Gone. Days Gone. It's actually got a bit of a cult following and a lot of people actually enjoy it. It's not as bad as people have made out, but it isn't. It's just slightly down from the other sort of games what PlayStation do, and that's the sort of standards they have. It's a good game, it's not a great game. Last up is Spider Man. Spider Man, we know that's a great game as well. It's running well on deck and you're going to have a ton of fun in that if you have not picked it up at the moment so thank you all for watching and we will see you all again soon and have a good one all bye